Hi everyone, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. I'm here with Rhys James. Hello, Rhys James. Hello. How are you? I am fine. This is another episode of The Big Conversation. If you haven't seen one of these before, basically, usually three of us discuss a, a salient topic of the week to do with Spurs, although today it's just me and Rhys. Yeah. Can't get the staff these days. The dream team, as uh, nobody ever said. So, the front two. The two at the front. Yep. Oh, anyway, uh, so this week's topic is hmm, topical, to say the least. How will we do in the Chelsea match this coming Sunday? So, uh, obviously, as we all know, we're in incredible form at the moment. We just turned over West Ham 4 1. We're filming this on Tuesday, so we don't know how the Carabag game went. Uh, but in terms of the league, we're in incredible form. Chelsea on Sunday, they're on a bad run. Usually, I think we'd all say we'd be very worried about this game. Maybe we still are, but it is a tough one. I'm going to open it up, start with this, Reese. How do you think our you know, Thursday night trip back from Azerbaijan, six-hour flight, will affect yeah. our performance on, th on Sunday? It's not ideal. <clears throat> I'll say that much. It's not ideal. We've, it's an early kickoff on Sunday as well. Mid it's day. not perfect. Chelsea are also playing this week. They're playing on Tuesday, yeah. which is today. Um, in Israel. They have in to go Israel. To Israel. So they that's six hours Israel. as well, but that's a 48-hour <clears throat> difference. <clears throat> They've got a lot more recovery time, yeah. but we are a young, energetic side, and we, it seems this season, can sort of deal with the whole Thursday night thing. We don't really have that curse anymore. Poch has got them playing. Poch has got them energised and he's got them athletic. Mm -hmm. So we can sort of do it, our fitness is great. Also, I don't think that many of the players will play against Carabag. I don't know for sure, but you'd think he's gonna maybe play Vimmer, potentially Fazio. I think he'll play the foot, he'll, he'll change <clears> the fullbacks. I think uh, Trippier, Trippier and Davies, will, and Davies will, will definitely play. Um, I'd hope Harry Kane doesn't play mm. Carabag. Um, and I think, uh, you know, Eric Dyer can handle it. If he does play, but Bentaleb's fit, isn't he again? I think Bentaleb he's nearly fit. Yeah, he's nearly fit. He had, a um, knock. he had a knock for Algeria. I know that. But do you think so? So basically, in an ideal world for you, he'll play the kids out against Karabag. Big time. And then Josh and Josh Onoma, Josh Onoma, however you say it, can come in. He yeah. can play. He's looked good when he's come on in the league and stuff. So it'd be great to get him out in Europe, rest some of our players okay. uh, for Chelsea. But also, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind Ericsson getting half an hour. Half an hour. Last half an hour. Wouldn't mind him getting the but last half an hour. Isn't it more? Isn't it more about the travel time rather than actually how they play on the pitch? Because they'll, they'll have their ice baths after and they'll, they'll recover probably pretty quickly. But it's the, the kind of 12 hours in all flying and stuff. And then also... Just get uh, your headphones on. I imagine they're first class, aren't they? You know, you could get, get the full reclining seat. It's a Slide jet. down. It's a oh, private jet. Exactly. It's, it's Daniel Levy's private jet that he exactly. wants actually hired out to the Queen. Do you remember that? I, I do remember that. Read it in the Evening Standard. <laughs> Daniel Levy hired out his private jet to the Queen. Classic. I bet he charged her too much as well. I bet he definitely Classic did. Classic Leeds. He, thing uh, is, she, the thing. she actually paid for Hung Min Son, turned out. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> thing is, yeah, I, I don't know. People always say the travel time thing. I, I mean, it does obviously affect stuff, but they'll be fine. They'll be fine. And uh, Chelsea, what, the thing about Chelsea is that we have the, the squad depth, I think, this year to right. play some people against Carabag and have a different starting 11, mm. potentially. Or maybe nine of them can be different mm -hmm. when we play Chelsea. Chelsea played the same 11 all last year. They're playing the same 11 all this year. That's why they're terrible, because they're knackered. They, they didn't have a rest, really. So there's something, some stat about Fabregas has had like two summers off in his career right. uh, since he was 16. Right. Because he's just constantly working. That's why they all look absolutely knackered. And that's why they're not turning up, whereas we don't. Loving this confidence from Reese. Uh, what something you mentioned earlier about the kind of difference in ages uh, brings me on to my next point. You know, we do have this young, dynamic, hungry side who, you know, and that performance against West Ham where every time their keeper, Adrian, had the ball, Ali was just running right in his face. Yeah. I, is that going to be a huge point against Chelsea? Is that, you know, the aging players of theirs, your Terry's, your Ivanovic's, your, your Fabregas's, are going to be put under pressure all the time by our young legs? Do you think that will really make a difference? Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna press them a lot, especially if Ivanovic starts. Mm -hmm. Ivanovic has not looked good this year, mm -hmm. and we could really do some damage against Ivanovic. Um, Terry, oh, te Terry is always some sort of threat because Terry does seem to score against yeah, us. Yeah, he doesn't always he? does. Always seems to score. Even so when the goal hasn't actually gone in. Yes, uh, exactly. The, the when Asuokoso has blocked it on the line, the ghost but it goal. gets given anyway, and then we lose yeah. uh, dramatically at Wembley. At Wembley, yeah. and I was there. 
Uh, that was too, and I was sat uh, two seats away from Van der Vaart's wife at the time. Sylvie, um, Sylvie Van der Vaart. Yeah, oh, oh, Sylvie, Lovely. good, good Lovely lad. Sense. Didn't didn't end up well for those two no, though. So ended, let's not talk ended, about that. Ended badly. Well, we're going to miss Ali. Is the is the point? We yeah. are going to miss Ali because he is probably. The, I think he's kind of epitomises the our pressing yeah. game. Um, he's going to be a big miss for us. It's a shame that he got booked, but. You know, we got Mason who can come in, mm -hmm. for example. Would you choose um, Mason to come in over Lamella? Lamella also, I don't know, because they both they both press quite well. Lamella yeah. works really really hard this year. Yeah. Um, Mason was good, I thought, when he came on against West Ham at the end. I think the, the I thing is, it's a tough one. That yeah, the choice will be if if Mason comes back in, then it will be Dembele moving forward. Whereas Dembele yeah. has been so good in the in the Liverpool game and the West Ham game and the Arsenal game, Dembele playing uh, alongside Dyer, I think, really worked. So mm. my hunch or instinct would be probably to keep Dembele and bring Lamella back in. Also because in the City game and the Arsenal game when Lamella played, he, he seemed to, almost like the big game nature of it, made him work even harder. And we all yeah. know he loves a little bit of a physical battle. He loves taking card. his yellow card, yeah. And so I think he might be the one to bring in. And he might be the one. I've, he might be the one to bring in, yeah. I worry, maybe is he a bit lightweight for the Chelsea team? You know, going against people the likes of Ivanovic. Or maybe that's, the, that's what you need, is you need someone... Who's going to challenge Ivanovic and be in his strong. face all the time? Like I think that. he's stronger than you think, Lamella. You know, I think he's got stronger. He's certainly got yeah. stronger. He's been um, juicing. So but Mason, when he came on against West Ham, was playing in that centre attacking mid role while Dembele right. still stayed holding. So potentially Poch might like him there now. Yeah, actually, Mason played there as well against Everton earlier in the season. He put that through <laughs> ball in for Kane, if you remember when Kane missed it, unfortunately, and we were all worried about yes. Kane. But anyway, okay. So another another thought. Um, is this a classic game where Jose Mourinho will want to prove? that he has got the tactical now. So oh, just course. in a similar way to in the Capital One Cup final last year when a lot of the press uh, and the media were talking about how Spurs were on great form and actually Spurs could do it. And then Jose put Zuma in front of the back four. And apart from Ericsson hitting the bar early, we were kind of Mourinho'd, I think, is basically what happened. Is there a possibility that might happen again? Yes, there is. I think to say that would be doing a disservice to Pochettino, who mm -hmm. I think knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. uh, I think has learned from that Chelsea game. Uh, that final, and I think, I uh, just you know, Mourinho has been trying to do this all season though. Like I know he does it against Spurs, and we notice it more against Spurs sure. because we all pay more attention to that match. But Mourinho has been trying to do this sort of tactic all season. Um, that with the difference in that one, it was a cup game. It was kind of a one-off. Yeah. This, I mean, like, th this is a team who are going mad, celebrating beating Norwich one 0 I mean, they were lucky as well. I think and they were seen. lucky, and it's just, I just think, uh, just you know, Costa. The fact they've got Diego Costa and he's back and he's scoring is a slight concern. Yeah. I think we will probably concede. Right. But I just think it will get to the 70th minute and they'll be done and they'll be knackered. Loving this confidence. They'll be knackered and we'll still be running around, running rings around them. To me it's a matter of, you know, and I've been thinking this going into a lot of games, it's a matter of can I actually believe in new Spurs versus mm. old Spurs? The, the nagging feeling in my head is, well, we never ever win games where we've got an opportunity to go 13 points ahead and ground Chelsea's noses into the dirt, you know, as an example. Well, but is this now the new Spurs that I actually have to believe? Like, I'll tell you this, if we get a result, a win, especially a win against Chelsea, I think I genuinely will but start to believe that we can do something incredibly special this season. Well, old Spurs would have lost to West Ham. Mm -hmm. Old Spurs would not have drawn against Swansea. Or Arsenal. Or Arsenal. Old Spurs yep. would have lost that Arsenal game despite deserving to win. Yep. I mean, at what point do we go, that's enough now to just prove this I think if we, beat, if we beat Chelsea, I think we can genuinely just start thinking, my goodness, where could we go this season? Because yeah. I think three games ago we were talking about, OK, we're on a good run, we're unbeaten in nine, uh, but we've got Arsenal away, West Ham at home, Chelsea at home. And I, I, in fact, I think I actually said, speak to me after those games and I'll tell you how I feel. Now, if we can beat them, and especially with all the media and the press and the pressure that would put on Mourinho as well, and the fact that we've won all our London derbies this season. Oh, Kane did. has got this stat of scoring, what, 11 in 13 London derbies in his career or something? He's up for those games. It'd be, God, wouldn't it be good if we were the club that got Mourinho sacked? That would be incredible. OK, so that leaves me with just one more question. Score prediction. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go 3-1. I'm going to go with Craig Mitch. I'm going to go 3-1. That's a first. Yeah, I'm agreeing with Craig Mitch and making spurred on history 3-1 to Spurs. Okay. I think we well, will concede Diego Costa but or Terry, but I love the positivity. I think we'll do all right. I'm going to go one all. I think my my instinct is it is a match that both teams will be too afraid to lose, and yeah. it will be and it will be tight. And I think with Damn Toby, squid. 
With Toby, Jan Vertonghen and Eric Dyer, we'll keep it nice and tight. But it's liable that Terry may score or, or Doc Costa will score. But I hope I'm wrong and I hope you're Who's right. Who's going to score for us? Uh, Harry Kane. Yeah. Goes without saying. Uh, guys, let us know what you think of you know, all the points that we've made there in the comments section below. Also, let us know your predictions. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. Hello, welcome to Spurverts Part 1. I'm Rhys James and Craig Mitch is back. 